dignity. We are supposed to be protected by the police, not killed. And we're sick of it. I'm John Eligo with the New York Times out here in Queens, where today a judge acquitted all three detectives charged in the shooting death of Sean Bell. The verdict was handed down by Judge Arthur J. Cooperman, who heard the case without a jury. Judge Cooperman cited inconsistencies in the testimony of the prosecution witnesses. He also cited the fact that police should be given some leeway in doing their jobs and in their decision to use deadly physical force. 50 shots! Outside the courtroom, there was a cluster of people. They were very clearly upset by the verdict. It's a very highly charged, very emotional, very racially charged case. Even though two of the detectives who were charged and who were on trial were black, many of the people in the community feel that the cops generally do not show the respect to black people uh, that they should. I'm going to have respect for the justice system. And specifically in the Sean Bell case, the issue of um, Mr. Bell and the two passengers that were with him, Joseph Guzman and Trent Benfield, both of them were also shot, but they were not killed. But none of the men had guns. None of them were found with guns. And that, I think, has fueled a lot of the public outrage. You cannot walk around with a brush. You cannot walk around with a cell phone. You cannot reach for your wallet because it is a threat to the police. In the coming days, we can definitely expect that there will be some protests and whatnot. And, um, a gentleman with the NAACP, he expressed to me that yes, people will protest. There will probably be uh, very emotional, very highly charged protests. His hope was that the police would not stop people from protesting by arresting people, which is like, something that we've seen done in the past. You know, when, after the Amadou Diallo shooting and, and those four officers in that shooting were acquitted, there were lots of protests, lots of arrests. The family of Sean Bell, so his fiancée Nicole Bell, she is uh, suing the city as well as Joseph Guzman and Trent Benfield, the two other gentlemen who were in the car with Mr. Bell, they are all suing the city um, for a multi-million multi dollar lawsuit. So that, that, that will be up next. And these detectives aren't necessarily in the clear. They could also face departmental charges from the New York City Police Department. And they could also face federal civil rights charges. And um, a, man who works with the, a gentleman who works with the NAACP expressed to me that they will be pushing hard for the federal courts to look at civil rights charges against these officers. So they're not quite in the clear yet.